Does your site uh, can uh, help also men uh, increase their business? Well, I thought about it. Well, that's, I don't believe in women-only networks uh, at one point because um, what I see with a lot of companies uh, started up by women is that they do need a, men a female mentor for leadership issues but in the end if you talk about risk taking and you talk about funding then your network should be much wider. It is the case that 97% uh, of the uh, investors are men so, so if you want to attract funding then your network should be much wider. Um, and that's why we have never been women only. And what I see now, we, we, we organize a lot of funding and pitching events. It means that we um, ask uh, startups to um, pitch before investors, partly because uh, in order to start their network and to get to know investors. And a lot of men actually uh, are uh, coming to these events. And that's, I think it's one of the reasons because it's, it's very well organized. So, uh, and the quality is very high. And there are also a lot of companies which are started by men, uh, you know, fashion or whatever. And then they're like, okay, now we're having, you know, great technology and fashion that we have no clue because we don't know the market. We don't know, you know, we want to reach, um, kind of your company wants to reach female bloggers. That means that you have to uh, connect with female networks because, you know, the most fashion bloggers uh, and, and most, uh, you know, right now, a lot of the clothes which are sold online are women. So I don't believe in women only networks, but we started it really focusing on women led companies because I do think that there's a big step to be made. Are you planning a mentoring network as part of Next Women? Uh, I, don't, I don't know of any in Europe. Yeah, that's actually a very good question. What we see is that we, I started the company as a magazine, and I really wanted to start only a magazine, and I wanted to think, I wanted to, and I want the old people to say I'm reading women. It's women. That's what I want. Uh, that type of business. But when people said, "No, I'm reading it," but I'm also a member, then we started with the community. Then we started to do events, and now people are saying, "Okay, now I'm doing the events at the workshop." Can you please help me in really getting that person and doing the actual work? So I think it's something naturally what we are, what we are offering, um, and it means that um, uh, I believe in paid mentoring. I mean, um, you know, even a board advisor comes in your board because he, most of the time he has equity in your business, and I think that in order to get from someone and to really be a professional, you should work with some paid mentoring. So um, I think it's a natural thing from the next women because we help them for the workshops but they come to us, you know, everybody wants to drink coffee with me now because they do you don't know that person or can you help me that can you take a look at that? So it's a natural thing and mentoring is very high on the uh, agenda in a lot of governments in Europe. But I think it's much more than mentoring because I, I think it's, it's something more, it's like business consulting almost. You know, you have your business and at one point you're thinking, okay, you know, I started my business plan, but what I really want now is someone helping me out that in, in a month I have a real business plan and or, or I need to have a marketing plan and no clue how to make it. So I think it's very much based on deliverables. And that's what I prefer better because a lot of startups are very tight in money, and they want to know what at the end of their uh, of the consultancy what they're getting. So I prefer to, um, and we are actually now busy with structuring it as more as a deliverable. And then you say, okay, I need a marketing plan, I need a business plan, I need a real good pitch that I can pitch to a commercial party to close the deal. And then I think it has more value than um, than a mentor. Um, you can call sometimes, but you still have to do the work. And I see that a lot of people don't grow because you know they have all this advice, and then they still are are, are not sure about their product. So uh, the short answer is yes. There's no tweet about you speaking here tonight. No. So that goes to networking. And uh, I want to ask this question is, what happened with Europe? I see a lot of tweets here concerning the States or maybe London. 
what about countries like ours, or smaller countries, or the Balkans? What do you do? Do you write about that? Do you search for women that are in the Yes, we do. Actually, we've been, this was something when we started, we wanted to do profiles of um, a lot of women who are starting companies. It's very hard to find them because um, uh, we, we depend, of course, we do a lot of research ourselves and call out to us and people can find us, but a lot of people don't, uh, re don't uh, have a high profile, so they are starting something but they don't write about it or they, you know, they don't get, some, you need to have somewhere that people can find you. Um, and um, uh, so we are actually, um, what I'm actually doing now is getting more spotters or journalists or whatever in um, s uh, different countries who are going to be used as your, you know, your local uh, eye. But it also depends a lot on um, uh, the, the, the person's uh, itself. I mean, in the US it's so obvious that when you start something that you profile it. And if you, you know, you time the profile, and some, you know, you give someone the beta, you try to get an interview somewhere, and if you, um, well, something, for example, what I didn't know, and that I know now, is that virtually every entrepreneur in the UK has their own PR. S small uh, small uh, female founders, and, and, you know, so I, I get approached by a lot of PR companies who say, yeah, I'm representing uh, this and this woman, she just started as a company, or I'm representing this woman, she's a great developer. And I'm always very surprised by that, because sometimes these are people who are really not uh, uh, making a lot of money, or uh, have started years before, or have exited their companies. So the, the idea of uh, you know, profiling yourself is, is in England and in the UK uh, just higher on the agenda. What's the number one educational resource you would refer Greeks uh, who are interested in social networking to in terms of learning and, you know, developing their understanding of, of social media and marketing? Well, I think first that you just have to do it. That is one big thing. If you start, you have to do it. So you can read a lot about it, but you only um, really understand it when you start something. So, you, for example, you, you think about yourself, okay, I'm going to tweet for, for a while. And you really can't learn, learn it if you don't do it. So, um, so that is one thing, just, just do it. Um, and the other thing is that there are some good articles um, of a uh, couple of uh, uh, like pro blogger, um, which, which are really good. Uh, we sometimes put articles on that, but we, we are much more about news than about background articles. Uh, but if you go to uh, Jason Kalanakis or uh, some of the people who are really active uh, as tweeters, they, they do have a lot. I mean, if you Google, you know, the, the ten uh, best tips to do social media, you will be, you know, there will be hundreds of tips. But in the end, you just have to start doing it. And if you, um, for example, the questions that I read, you know, why are you doing it? Uh, if you're doing it for sales, you really should think about how you're going to do it. If you do it because you know, you want to be an expert in the field and you have to have a different strategy and you might want to choose a different um, uh, a network to do this. So in a way, it's your own strategy which you should do. Um, and it's only this very simple question that I raise and then you know uh, where to start, how to start, um, what you want to uh, put in. Well, for, for example, uh, we um, distribute our news from the blog that goes automatically on Twitter. But what I also do is I distribute other people's news who have a link to women in business or women doing deals. So in that um, thing, I combine my own uh, uh, content with other people's content so that you become a hub and that's so that you become an expert. Uh, but that's all because, but that's because I have that aim to become that expert because your aim is to you know, become an, uh, the biggest seller on uh, on the internet or on via social network, then you should do it differently. Yeah, thank you very much.